Well, obviously, it's nice to be in here and uh, discuss something that, when I first stepped foot 15 years ago, uh, was kind of a dream. Uh, the investment of our administration of putting in $1.3 million to put lights and take our program to the next echelon is just, uh, we have so much gratitude and appreciation for it. So, uh, looking forward to getting this information out to the community, uh, selling the, the deck out, and uh, as we have been saying, stack the deck uh, while we light the night. What's your record right now? We are 0-1-1. One, and one. We opened up our first games over the weekend against number 15, Notre Dame, uh, where unfortunately we uh, came up a little bit short, lost 3-2, to two, and then tied the uh, number 8th team in the country at Indiana, 0-0. Uh, zero, zero. And how good of a test was that for, for your guys that opening with that two nationally ranked team? Probably too good of a test, uh, quite frankly, considering the amount of injuries that we've taken uh, even prior to the, the camp getting started. Four of our possible starters are, are out right now. Uh, our captain is playing at 70 percent, and Jose Altamirano, who is a former national team player, was unable to play much on the Friday game. So it was, uh, it was a very big test, and it showed great fortitude in our group to, to go out and make sure that they could find the result necessary on Sunday after not a great performance on Friday, but uh, to come back Sunday with the confidence and the ability to, to get that tie was, was very good for our confidence and getting us ready for this game on Friday. Uh, uh. And how excited are you and the players for the first night game here on, on Zuma Road? Uh, I wish I could actually articulate the excitement uh, that is going on within the, the program. And as much as our kids are very excited to play underneath the lights and in front of a, a huge crowd here in San Diego, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's been 15 years of me discussing that uh, lights were very important to our programs. Um, when I first came to, to Montezuma Mesa, I did mention to our administration that there were about three things that were necessary for me never to look for another job. Two out of those three things have taken place. Uh, getting us to a, a resource level and a fully funded you know, complement of scholarships, getting lights up there, and then a full complement of assistant coaches. Hopefully uh, that's coming with the, the move to the Big East so that uh, our position can be reinstated. Uh, but uh, at this moment, uh, the administration is not getting rid of me by me leaving. This is very exciting. Uh, Coach, did anything stand out to you about last weekend's play, and do you think the rainy conditions had anything to do with the results? Um, what stood out was the, the mental uh, fortitude, as I used that word earlier, uh, the, the determination to succeed, uh, the fight and the battle, uh, the will of this team. Uh, we are certainly still trying to find ourselves with that being our first two games. Uh, we are still st uh, you know, struggling to find our lineup with all the injuries that are there. But the, the mental capacity of our group to go out there after a bad performance on Friday in the heat to turn around in incremental conditions of rain on Sunday against probably a Final Four team. I'd be very surprised if Indiana doesn't end up in the Final Four with the, the talent and depth that they have. So. Um, it, it was uh, telling to me to know that this is a group that no matter who comes to play us, they will have to compete at their highest level to have a chance to beat us because our guys are going to fight in battle. And uh, goalkeeper Blake Highland, any update on his injury and how is he progressing? Yeah, fortunately, it was just a, a laceration that was able to be stitched up. Uh, they, they put the stirrups on to get him to finish the game, and after the game, their doctor stitched him up. Uh, it would be remiss of myself not to mention the wonderful uh, camp that Tim Peich had, and for him to step in uh, for that 15 minutes while Blake was getting the stirrups put on his eye, uh, he was phenomenal. He made a game-saving save. Uh, that uh, kept us in the match, um, and uh, our goalkeeping here, as always, uh, conducted by Matt Hall, our assistant coach, is phenomenal. And um, we, you know, whether it be Blake or whether it be Tim on the weekend, uh, we are fully confident in our goalkeeping. Could you talk a little bit about the huge difference? I'm just looking at the paper right now. Shots, shots on goal, 29-13, and you guys 10-4. to Let's Just talk about that a little bit, if you could. Yeah, I think, you know, one, uh, you've got to give credit to Indiana and in, in what they did on the day. Uh, they were extremely sharp and played way better than I thought they played on Friday night. Um, 
This is a very good team that, that came at us uh, very hard. Uh, as I mentioned, we are uh, down in our numbers right now, and, and the ability to uh, have game fitness, as that was our first weekend of, of games, uh, really played a toll on us in, in our need to defend. Uh, certainly, we never like to be dominated like that, and the last time I remember being dominated like that was in 2005 against Cal. And in fact, I think we won that game as well. So, uh, you know, this is uh, something to, to put a similarity to. Uh, uh, that the, the resilience in this mentality of this group is going to be very high. And uh, once we get all of our bodies back, we are going to be extremely talented again. And not to say we aren't talented right now, obviously with a 0-0 result against the eighth team in the country. Just a, a little bit of a touch of irony. The guys that practice on the field down below you had a bit of a kicker quote controversy going on. and. Uh, do you ever, you know, take a look over there and say, hey, maybe I can help those guys out? Or do you ever get concerned that uh, you find some of the football coaches up scouting your uh, games, you know, just as a bit of tongue-in-cheek? Yeah, yeah, uh, no tongue-in-cheek at all. I, I walked into uh, Rocky Long's office and told him he'd be absolutely crazy not to take Chance Martin. Uh, the gentleman is the epitome of what Aztec uh, student-athletes should be. Uh, he's, a, he's a scholar-athlete. Uh, he is a wonderful young man and, and human being. Uh, his work ethic and his locker room presence is enormous, uh, so no tongue-in-cheek at all on that. Uh, that would have been a big mistake on their part not to grab him uh, for uh, uh, GPA alone, uh, let alone the fact that uh, Chance is a very talented kicker and we actually stole him away from football originally. Uh, they were uh, courting him out of high school and Chance's love was in soccer. Uh, the real football and so uh, <laughs> since we're going to go tongue-in-cheek um, so yeah the, there's no doubt that uh, Chance wanted to, to try and perform on uh, his first love and he got four years of that and um, decided to, to have a go at football where he was extremely talented in uh, the Mission Valley Athletic League which was my former league we're actually from the same hometown as well to give you another story on that um, so he went to Washington High School and I went to Mission San Jose High School